Hello, I'm Angela from Novant Health, and we're gonna do some yoga. So coming up out of your seat and your desk, come to your mat, and we're gonna come down to sitting. So we're going to start by doing three basic poses. And these three poses are gonna take your spine in every direction. So we're going to arch your spine back, we're gonna bend your spine forward, and we're gonna rotate side to side. So to maintain a healthy spine, you want to try to move your spine in every direction every day. So beginning with a cobra, we're gonna come on our mat from the top of your mat and come down, bring your fingertips underneath your shoulders. Your fingertips are in line with your shoulders. As you inhale, you're going to lengthen your head forward like you're going to brush your forward nose and chin on the mat. Inhale, lengthen up. Roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back, lift your chest and chin. We don't want our shoulders up here. Drop them away from your ears. Bend your elbows slightly. Lengthen up as you breathe. Pull your shoulder blades down the back. Press the tops of your thighs just lightly into your mat and breathe. Another breath. Exhale, come down. We're going to press back into child's pose, just to stretch our spine the opposite way. Raise up. Now we're going to add in our forward bend and twist. So bring your legs out, straight out in front of you. Get right on the tops of your sitting bones. Inhale, lengthen up. Your feet are straight up toward the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen your spine up. As you exhale, hinge from your hips and relax your spine over the top of your legs. Relax your shoulders. Now, if you can't completely bring your nose down, that's okay. Just hinge from your hips and hold wherever's comfortable. What you don't want to do is round back and do this. We don't want tension in our shoulders and we don't want a rounded back. We want to hinge from our hips. So it's better to not go as far and hinge this way than to collapse and round that way. So come up, let's try it again. Inhale, lengthen up, lengthen your spine. Stretch your hands forward, allow your spine to relax over your legs. Swami Shivananda always said forward bends are relaxation poses because when you can bend in half, you're really, really relaxed. So just focusing on seeing over time if you can breathe and relax your body in half. Good. Inhale. Stretch your arms up. And now we're going to add a twist. So we've taken our spine back then, we've taken it forward, now we want to go side to side. So from this pose, take your right knee and bring it up and over your left knee. I mean your foot over your knee. Now if this is uncomfortable, you can always bring your foot on the inside of your knee. So bring your left, right foot over your left knee. Bring your right arm behind you. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, we're going to bring the elbow in front of the knee left elbow in front of the right knee. If this is uncomfortable, if this is too much of a twist, you just twist the other way. You would inhale, lengthen up, and rotate around to your left with your right hand in front of your leg. So choose which one feels best for you. We'll inhale, stretch up, drop your arms, switch your legs. We'll take our left leg now our left foot and bring it over our right knee. Now again, choose which stretch feels better. If you don't want as deep of a stretch, just raise your arms up and exhale, turn towards your right. If you want more of a stretch, you would inhale your arms up, exhale, turn towards your left and bring your elbow on the outside of your left thigh. And you look over the opposite shoulder. Inhale, come back, bring your legs up, give them a little shake. Come back to easy sitting. And inhale, your arms up, palms down. Namaste, enjoy your day.